The KSN 770 Flight Management System features a split-screen display with a text-based waypoint list window on the left and a graphical navigation map window on the right. This layout makes it easy to create a flight plan. As you enter specific waypoints along your route of flight, you see them in context, all on one screen. You can enter individual waypoints into the list. or by using the touch screen to interact with the navigation map. You can also insert standard instrument departures, airways, standard terminal arrival routes, and instrument approach procedures. In this video, you'll discover the answers to frequently asked questions about creating a flight plan. The current mode the FMS is operating in is enunciated at the top of the FMS home window. The name of the flight plan is displayed under the FMS mode enunciation. If you ever find that you can't create or edit a flight plan, it's probably because you forgot to enter edit mode. Note that in edit mode, both the waypoint list window and the FMS map display window have magenta boxes around them. This indicates that both the list and the map can be used for flight plan editing. To insert the departure airport, touch the insert icon or press the insert soft key. The insert new waypoint pop-up window displays. By default, the Insert New Waypoint pop-up window displays the nearest airports. Use the interactive touchscreen or the joystick knob to highlight the departure airport. In this case, since the aircraft is on the ground at Providence, KPVD is already selected at the top of the list. To enter KPVD into the flight plan, press the OK soft key or push the joystick knob. KPVD is now displayed as the first waypoint in the waypoint list window and on the navigation map. It's simple to insert additional in route waypoints. For example, to enter Quonset State Airport as a new waypoint between KPVD and MVY, touch the right side of the interactive touchscreen between the two existing waypoints. It's often easier to use the joystick knob. Just rotate the joystick knob until the insert icon appears in the correct spot. Touch the insert icon or press the insert soft key and select KOQU. KOQU is inserted into the waypoint list between KPVD and MVY. To change an existing waypoint, highlight the waypoint in the waypoint list. In this example, KOQU is already highlighted. Press the Change soft key. Select the new waypoint, KUUU, and press the OK soft key. KOQU has changed to KUUU in the waypoint list. To delete an existing waypoint, Highlight the waypoint in the waypoint list. In this example, KUUU is already highlighted. Press the Delete soft key. Then press the OK soft key. KUUU is removed from the waypoint list. In addition to entering waypoints that are in the navigation database into a flight plan, you can also enter previously stored user waypoints. Position the insert icon in the desired spot and touch the insert icon or press the insert soft key. Then press the user soft key. The user waypoints pop-up window is displayed. You can select a waypoint from the list if you've already created one or add a new one.
You can also add a waypoint to the flight plan by using the navigation map. When in flight plan edit mode, graphical edit is enunciated at the top of the map display. To create a waypoint using the map, touch a location on the interactive touch screen. A cyan circle appears and the course to, distance to, estimated time in route to, and elevation of the location being touched displays in a box. A cyan dashed line extends from the last waypoint in the flight plan to the location being touched. You can pan the map by touching it and dragging your finger, or by moving the joystick knob. To enter the selected location into the flight plan, press the Insert Soft key. The new waypoint is added to the end of the flight plan. When a NAV database waypoint is selected, the waypoint name is used. When a location other than a NAV database waypoint is selected, a latitude-longitude waypoint is created and displayed as LL, followed by a two-digit number. You can also graphically edit the flight plan between two existing waypoints. Touch the line connecting two existing waypoints. Dashed cyan lines extend from both existing waypoints to the selected location. Drag your finger to the desired location of the new waypoint, in this case Falmouth Airport, and release pressure. Press the Insert Soft key. The new waypoint is inserted into the waypoint list between the two existing waypoints. To simplify flight plan creation, you can enter airways into a flight plan instead of manually entering all the individual waypoints. To enter an airway, you must first enter the two waypoints that define the beginning and end of the airway segment you wish to fly. For example, if you're planning an IFR flight from Providence to Nantucket along Victor Airway 146, you can enter Victor 146 into the flight plan. First, enter the entry and exit points. In this case, those are the Providence and Nantucket VORs, PVD, and ACK. Then, use the touchscreen or joystick knob to move the insert icon between PVD and ACK in the waypoint list. Touch the insert icon or press the insert soft key. Now, press the airway soft key. Enter the desired airway, V146, using the on-screen keyboard or the joystick knob. Touch OK or push the joystick knob. All the waypoints along Victor 146 between PVD and ACK are added to the waypoint list and to the navigation map. If you're planning an IFR flight, you might need to enter a departure procedure and an arrival procedure into your flight plan. And once an approach is assigned by ATC, you'll need to enter that too. As an example, Here's a flight plan from Bellingham International Airport in Washington State to Portland International Airport in Oregon. You'll use the Kino 4 departure with the Payne transition and the Helens 5 arrival with the Seattle transition. KBLI and KPDX are already entered in the waypoint list. To enter the departure procedure for Bellingham, press the Procedure Bezel soft key. Then, press the Departure soft key. Select the departure runway, 34, using the interactive touchscreen or the joystick knob. Next, select a departure procedure. In this case, the Kino 4 departure is the only available departure. Now, select the pain transition. The departure procedure and transition are added to the waypoint list and map display. When the FMS home window has focus, press the procedure soft key. When the waypoint list has focus, you must first highlight the arrival airport in the waypoint list. Scroll to the end of the waypoint list. Highlight KPDX. And then press the Procedure soft key. Next, press the Arrival soft key. Use the interactive touchscreen or the joystick knob to select the Helens 5 arrival. Then, select the Seattle VOR transition. Before flying using the FMS for navigation, 
It's important to cross-check the entered waypoints with the waypoints on published departure procedure, en route, arrival procedure, and approach procedure charts. You can review a flight plan waypoint by waypoint. This example features an IFR flight plan from Bob Hope Airport in Burbank, California to Palm Springs Airport. Use the interactive touchscreen or the joystick knob to select the waypoint list window. Ensure that the Edit Soft key is selected and the FMS mode is Flight Plan Edit. Use the interactive touchscreen or the joystick knob to scroll through the waypoints. As a waypoint is highlighted in the list, it is displayed in the center of the map display. 